Hi. It's so Hi. great to talk to the both of you. I'm in love with this film and I don't know if I've like shouted that at the both of you yet enough, but it's perfect. I'm obsessed. So to start, I, I, I kind of wanted to just hear from the both of you about what, what movies were most influential for the two of you in your teen years? I mean, they don't necessarily have to be teen movies, but like what movies define high school Rachel and high school IO? I'm like hit for you. <laughs> Literally, I, the other, I, I was thinking about this last night. So I tried to write down a list of them and oh like I wrote down Hitch. And I was like, is that even true? <laughs> so I'm like actually obsessed with Hitch, but I really don't have any negative memories of Hitch. So I don't know. <laughs> um, when I think about watching movies in high school, I grew up pretty religious. So I didn't really start watching secular stuff like um, openly, like until maybe 10th or 11th grade um, or like feeling more, I guess, like emboldened to yeah. like a lot of stuff. I was kind of like watching secretly. And like, I think TV was my first love. Cause that was easier. It's easier to like sneak 30, 30 minutes. minutes of a show yes. or like 10 minutes of like VH1s I, I yeah. love, uh, or one of those that oh, like, yeah. movie, you know, like it's easier to get culture in like small snippets. Um, but then once I started, I started watching movies, I've watched a lot of Westerns with my dad. I loved Pan's Labyrinth. I also like was like a little Tumblr freak. So I was like, I was just streaming a lot of like illegal stuff. Like I was, I loved a lot of um, Korean and Japanese cinema. Like I loved like Battle Royale and I loved Park Chan Wook and I loved, uh, I loved Quentin Tarantino. Let's be honest, I did. <laughs> um, I loved, I loved Kill Bill and I loved like uh, Inglourious Bastards and Django. Like I loved yeah stuff that just made me feel like like world like my brain was exploding because I think <laughs> just as I was becoming less conservative my my brain was exploding um so I loved kind of like a lot of stuff even though I feel like yeah tv wise I liked silly things comedy but mm. like film wise I was like it's a lot of dark stuff yeah <laughs> a lot of dark stuff yeah <laughs> Satoshi Kone stuff like paprika oh my God. Blue. Wow. yeah I was I mean immediately the next year I, I would be entering free therapy at NYU <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I, as soon as I my <laughs> hit, hit the campus uh, watching this square park boom boom I was like we gotta yeah, we gotta do something Instant. now <laughs> I feel like those are also, I feel like I similar thing where I was, like, was PG-13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. like it's like that, those, this, that's a cry for help. Mine is like Mary-Kate and Ashley, Rome, Mary-Kate and Ashley, Paris, Paris. Yes. Yes. All of Sydney. Sydney. Yes. Sydney was good. No, there was, a, you wouldn't think, you would think like it's London, but it's actually. I loved um, New York Minute. Yeah. New York Minute was actually very shitty. Yeah. Yeah, all the plots sort of blur together a little in my mind at this point, but I it was really good. Oh, they're in New York, and it's a minute. And it's a minute. And so the whole film, one minute. One minute. What a concept. I mean. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. That, she's the man. I love she's the man. Do you know what I, I love? That this made me, this made me gasp because I went, oh, something nice. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen was so f***ing good. Lance was f***ing up putting her fall on Yes, she was acting. So she was acting. So I did want to ask, and and maybe maybe I'll pivot this to you first, Rachel, just because you know you co-wrote the film. I, I'm curious, like, why why is it important to you that PJ and Josie are queer characters? Why 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 does that make a difference for the film? I mean, they're not chasing after the football players, right? I think well, no one should be. Those football no, players are. No, a, no, no. I mean, someone is the the PGA moms. I think <laughs> when Em and I were first talking about this idea, we were like, we came together over wanting to do something like both a comedy for women and also like queer women, where they they were allowed to just be like so free and like we. Emma loved watching like American Pie, Super Bad, all of those things. And I feel like I discovered them like a little later, but wanting to have a sex comedy, like, and not have to have these characters be so good. Like, I feel like a lot of times with queer stories, it's either like this sad, like heartbreaking, which we love, but like, you know, very dramatic film, or it's kind of like so shiny and it's like, I'm gay. 
And at the end of the two hour movie, I'll kiss someone on the lips for three seconds. Like, really quick, like, and I think we were like th- three seconds too long, One second. <laughs> but it's like, we, I think we wanted to g- go into this genre and be able to have these characters that are sh- and like, let the jokes go all the way there and not feel like we have to make them be like too good or put them in a situation that was like devastating and sad. Along those lines, I mean, the action, that side of things, stunt work, et cetera, et cetera. What can you tell me about that? What was surprising about having to do that facet of the film? Sort of how uncoordinated we all actually oh, sure. are. Um, probably that. <laughs> that was, yeah. We did a uh, boot camps uh, at the beginning uh, with our stunt coordinator, Devin, and all the Fight Club girls. And uh <laughs> That was, yeah, it was very exhilarating. I think that was yeah. really the point for me where I was like, oh, like the action in this movie is really like, like Emma and, and Rachel like are taking it very seriously. And also the producers are taking them seriously. So this is, is not just going to be like, oh, we're doing like, oh, we're doing a little girls fight club. And yeah, of course, like, it's like, no, like there's going to be blood, there's going to be gore um, and it's going to be sick. I just am thinking of like also the mat. The first day we had to like push each other onto a mat. And there's just something so raw about that where you're like, also it, it really like bonded us. We oh, like, absolutely. There's all these videos that I have of me. Like I was so afraid to fall on the mat and I'm like crawling <laughs> onto the mat so slowly. And you can hear Io and everyone else in the background so sincerely like, yes, yes. <laughs> like it's honestly well, also, like, You do kind of fall like that in the movie though. You're better. But the, like Rachel's first one, saw- she was so afraid of like falling. Also that she would be completely sick. So <laughs> we're just like, have you ever fallen in your life? Like you just like walk up. <laughs> I kind of love <laughs> in the movie where it's like, yeah, 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 you fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it's scary it's so yeah it was it was I didn't know what it was gonna feel like and it felt I mean it was it was wild doing that but it was fun uh, was was there any or any of your co-stars like were you like afraid of how good they were at the stunts Ruby. and act- oh god Ruby was coming fresh off Willow she was trained as hell Ruby was living in the woods eating uh, <laughs> Yoda sticks with like yeah months. like she came and was like like all oh, strong and muscular yeah. and wielding a staff that's not yeah. even real but she could have if yeah. she wanted to yeah Ruby was tough yeah well thank you for the time I appreciate it great to see you both you too thank you. Bye. bye have a good bye. one bye Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from us at Queerty, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.